Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the AMD Radeon R7 480GB SSD. You may have noticed I have two of the drives in front of you, and that's because I plan on running these in a RAID 0 configuration. But that aside, even on its own individually, this is essentially one of the fastest SSDs that money can buy right now. Again, 480 gigs of storage, that is the top end of storage in terms of capacity that AMD is offering this branded drive. It's really manufactured by OCZ, which is a Toshiba company now, for those of you unfamiliar. And uh, when it comes to performance, this is the seventh fastest SSD according to user benchmarks right now on the market. That's including PCI Express, that's including the Samsung 850 line, both in the Pro and EVO capacity. So basically, if you're looking for the next best thing uh, when it comes to the Samsung 850 line, this is it. The big advantage, pricing. Now, when it comes to the read-write speed, you can see that listed right here as it comes into focus. Uh, they do claim that the write speed is the same on the 240, the read and write, I should say, is the same on the 240 as the 480, but from what benchmarks show, that does not seem to be the case. Of course, the 120 gig drive does not have the same read-write speed, but when it comes to warranty, you're getting a four-year warranty here, uh, 30 gigs of average data use per day, it's actually rated for through the course of those four years. And when it comes to the overall durability of the drive, it does have some of the highest uh, or best durability that I've seen in its class again when we consider pricing. Now, 280 US dollars is retail. That's what it was when it launched back in August. Of course, this has gone on sale. That's why I'm sharing it with all of you today. Uh, I was able to pick it up from Fry's. I believe it was 160 or 170, somewhere in that neighborhood. But uh, the idea is quite simple. You know, you want to find a pricing sweet, a sweet spot with performance where you're getting the best of both worlds. And in this case, that's exactly what this drive represents. Um, you know, for me, it was a matter of finding something that was going to yield the performance, as I'm struggling with the plastic corner here, uh, that was going to yield the performance of the Samsung 850 without the pricing premium. And unfortunately, there really aren't a lot of options out there other than Samsung's 850 line. And it is incredibly, uh, I won't say overpriced, but the pricing is very high, especially when you compare it to something like this. Uh, so let me go ahead. I don't think there are any more seals on this packaging. And by the way, the packaging on this is surprisingly nicer than the packaging uh, on the Samsung EVO line. Go figure. Uh, a little bit more premium. Uh, despite, again, that this is a cross-marketed drive, a branded drive. So even though it's targeting AMD users, owners, builders, uh, this is really just a Toshiba OCZ best-in-class drive. You can see it comes with a mount, which is nice. Not necessary for every user, but good to have. And, of course, it is matching black uh, to match the finish of the drive itself. We have our mounting screws right there. And the drive with that big AMD logo. Now, I do have a system this RAID config is going into <laughs> that's based around an NVIDIA Titan Z, which is ironic, but also irrelevant because all I care about is performance. And I can tell you right now, as I've said throughout the entire course of this video, you're looking at the seventh fastest SSD, including PCI Express SSDs. I can't stress that enough. And if you don't know uh, the difference, PCI Express is as fast as it gets right now. So the fact that this is working off of serial ATA, a SATA cable, and delivering you know, throughput speed on the read and write side that can basically come close to PCI Express, even beat some PCI Express high-end drives, is amazing. And again, the only other model manufacturer SSD line to also be able to hold that claim is the Samsung 850 Pro and EVO in the varying capacities that they have. Uh, keep in mind, again, 480 is the cap on this. I wish that it went higher, but it does not. Uh, so simple construction here. Uh, great for a laptop or desktop. It's really up to you. In my case, this will be going in a desktop computer, again, based around an NVIDIA Titan Z. And as you saw already, I have another one of these waiting right here, which, of course, I don't need to unbox 
during this video, uh, but that's pretty much it. You know, the paperwork, the instruction manual, and essentially best in class performance at a price that you could never find the Samsung 850, possibly not even the 840 at. And that's what makes this AMD R7 480 gig drive a steal if you get it at the right price. It's a bit of a sleeper, folks. That's why I'm sharing it with all of you. Uh, this is one of those updates, unboxings, as well as tech news or deals for that matter, uh, because it just doesn't get the attention it deserves, frankly, because of that big AMD logo dead center, uh, when it should, because it is, again, the seventh fastest real-world SSD out there right now at a price that is often in the budget range, believe it or not, at least if you get it at the price that I got it through Fry's, which again, I think it was 160 or 170 after rebate. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.